Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Beast Mysteries. Justin here along with my good friend, Doug Mackay. What's up? Today we're going to be talking about the Freeman footage. I'm sure you all know about that. It's pretty famous and uh, it's been around for a while. Uh, before we get into that though, Doug is going to address a comment specifically made out to him by Pam Purple Rose. A Dear Doug comment. Mm -hmm. So, it says, oh first, thank you for the compliment. I'm assuming it's a compliment. I don't think it's sarcastic. I don't know who Renee is, so I don't know, but it says Doug is a perfect skeptic, way better than Renee. And I appreciate that. Assuming that's Renee from Finding Bigfoot. Is she a half ass skeptic? She just claims to be a skeptic. Hmm. Okay. So the Dear Doug comment was, Dear Doug, what about we who have seen the creature? Why we search and research on the web is because we have experienced it and need to know more. Want to show the naysayers, here it is, this is what I slash we saw. Redemption, I guess. So I don't think everyone that's claimed to have, like, seen a Bigfoot or anything like that is, like, a liar. Um, I don't, like, I've, I, I'm just a skeptic because I haven't e either A, had an experience, or seen enough conclusive, or B, seen enough conclusive evidence to believe it um I'm not gonna go out and just like try and come up with a bunch of ideas of like oh you you misinterpreted what you saw or you misidentified something that you saw or anything like that because I don't know what you saw and like I said like I'm skeptical but I don't think it doesn't exist necessarily like I don't have like a hard line on it's not a real thing I just don't personally believe it until until I see the conclusive evidence. So I 100% wholeheartedly am like behind anyone who wants to go out and do this. I don't think, at the very least, like I don't think Justin's wasting his time by going out and doing this stuff because at the very least he comes back a little bit uh, a little bit more experienced, you know. He's, he's got some life experience at, at least <laughs> and uh, at most he comes back with some footage of Bigfoot you know or something hopefully one day <laughs> yeah if it's a real creature then that there's a possibility that's what we're here to find out but I mean as like hippie-ish as it is man like the reason why I like this kind of stuff like I don't go out and look into this stuff because I'm not an outdoorsy kind of guy, <laughs> like Justin is. But, like, I like the mystery stuff and the unknown, specifically just because I like not knowing, and I like the idea that something could be real. And if you have had an experience, and that is where you base your, or what you base your belief off of, then I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just, I can't take anecdotal evidence, such as, like, sightings and stuff like that, as conclusive evidence, because it's just... There's a lot of variables that can't be controlled in those situations. So, And also, as somebody who's... Like, I'm not 100% believing in Bigfoot, but Some I'm... Some say you're too skeptical. Well, I know, like... <laughs> I agree with you on the anecdotal evidence part. Like, they're very interesting, all these accounts and stories from, you know, the past hundred years and even before that. They're interesting and... I don't know. A well, lot of them are very similar, and they have, you know, they all have similarities. And the other thing, too, is, like, I don't think there's anything wrong. If, if, if it turned out that Bigfoot just didn't exist, right, and wasn't a real thing, I don't think there's anything wrong with these stories that have been told. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say, like, if, if it came down to it where it was, like, one day we had mapped the Earth completely and no sign of Bigfoot ever came up, and we could just conclusively be like, yeah, it's there's a 99.99999% chance that this thing isn't real. I wouldn't say like, well, forget all those stories, man, because stories are important in societies and cultures, and I think that a good story is a good story whether it's real or fake, or not even real or fake, or just real or or not. I don't want to say fake because then it sounds like you're lying, but real or not, I think the stories are good, and... I like reading them and hearing about them and stuff. Like I said, I think it's interesting and I'm just, I like, I like hearing the stories. I just don't, I don't count them as conclusive evidence. No, they're not so. definitive proof yeah. of anything to, yeah. to anyone other than 
the person the that person who experienced, experienced it. it, yeah. Because only that person knows what they saw and if it's if it was real or if they're making it up or anything like that. So obviously, like if either of us saw something that we believe to be Bigfoot, see, because we say you were alone in the in the woods and you saw a Bigfoot, and you're like, wow, that's a Bigfoot, and then you told a bunch of people, like. There's only a select few that would be like... There's going to be people like you <laughs> yeah. that are going to be like, bullshit. I have good friends that would be like, bullshit. Um, and I have good friends like Justin who'd be like, what? Tell me about it. Yeah. Let me interview you. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, no, I, I... I have no disdain or, or uh, disrespect for anybody with stories of Bigfoot or experiences that they believe was Bigfoot or anything like that. Um, and I, I think that if you want to go out and try and uncover the truth, a hundred percent by all means, I, I think you should. And I think that pretty much sums up the question. I appreciate the, the comment, by the way. You, you can't go into this kind of topic, like any kind of unexplained mystery kind of thing, like Bigfoot, whether it's, I don't know, Bigfoot, UFOs, ghosts, all that kind of stuff. You can't just all of a sudden believe in something because people tell you. Well, it's like it's like you I know what I mean. It'd be like somebody coming up to me and saying like unicorns are real, and then me having. They to, are real. There's they're people Scotland's, that believe they used to be real. They're Scotland's national animal. Well, you're here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, I, that and that's the thing. I think I said it in the Bigfoot podcast at the end, where just believe believe something because you can believe it not because you want to believe it yeah you know and i'm making these videos because i'm interested in finding the truth but i still have to maintain a level of skepticism you know what i mean because the end, it'd be just foolish to believe yeah anything. well and like that's the I, i've noticed one of the more aggressive sides of the bigfoot community is the bigfoot people that don't enjoy skeptics at all who are like, you aren't allowed to entertain the idea of skepticism. Like, the reason I made that joke a couple minutes ago about you being too skeptical is, is because of a comment that you got where the guy said you're too skeptical. Yeah, why? He's just... Basically, we should find the comment here. We can read it. It's the same guy. He had a Dear Doug comment about it before. Yeah, he made a Dear Doug comment to me. Navy Mike has returned. Yeah, he, he wasn't happy with me. No. Let's see if we can find it here. But that's the kind of thing that makes me, uh, I don't know, it kind of puts me on the defensive, I guess, um, when, when, uh, when someone comes and says, um, that you're not allowed to be skeptical about something, like, that's when I'm gonna, that's when I'm gonna kind of push back a little bit and be like, if you're not skeptic about it, you're less credible in my eyes yeah here's the comment here Navy Mike sorry to call you out buddy but we have to I just want to say dude Bigfoot is real and you're more skeptic than anything else you really need to stop with all these stupid theories about some type of bear etc no lab is going to admit that the DNA is of an unknown primate they would be blacklisted basically you need to I, I use some common sense common sense mm -hmm. I mean your own father saw one but you still don't believe laughable my father didn't see one and that was never ever a claim um yeah oh he brings up the tree structures again just by all the evidence of these giant tree structures proves beyond with yeah. proves beyond without a doubt that Sasquatch Bigfoot Yeti ETC are real wake up this generation is so sad see and um you know the bear thing too like this is in my last video about the yeti the whole thing about like it being a, a bear or some sort of like ancient bear that's like a recent like study it was on a tv show with uh i think it was brian sykes was the guy's name they analyzed some hair or something and it like turned that. out to be an ancient polar bear yeah yeah that was on. I if that was the guy's name. That was on that. It's on Netflix. Yeah, it's a documentary. Yeah, so the idea that you shouldn't be skeptic 
uh, skeptical about something to me is the ultimate insult to any community that wants to be taken seriously. You can't just go into something believing that it's real because of tree structures or something or anything like that. But, you know, that's just my opinion. Well, Navy Mike's not gonna like this video. Whatever. He, does, he already doesn't like me, so. It doesn't sound like he likes either of us. <laughs> Um, I'm just reading this old comment and it is so bad. You complete moron. Yeah, they called me a moron and an idiot. <laughs> I don't know. It's, you gotta maintain that skepticism to it to some degree. Otherwise, it's just foolish. Yeah, well, then. Then it's... you'd still believe in Santa Claus, basically, because that's what your parents taught you growing up. I'm sorry, Doug, if you still Santa believe Claus in Santa is Claus. real. That's why you have the choice to believe the things you want to believe. <laughs> and that's the other thing right there. If you want to believe it wholeheartedly, believe it wholeheartedly. Mm -hmm. But don't get mad at us because we're not convinced right away. You know? Or get mad at us if you want. I don't, it's the internet. I don't really care. The channel's here to kind of be a grounds for discussion and different ideas and theories and people to talk to each other and share their thoughts in a friendly way you know what i mean nothing friendly there's a lot of personal attacks going on there's nothing friendly about youtube yeah comments. youtube can be savage just like the beginning of saving private ryan <laughs> yeah but uh i hope that answers your question pam uh and i appreciate her comment i don't know if it's really a question i guess it was a question was it dear duck yes yeah. I appreciate hearing from you. I, I, like I said in the last response to Deer Dogs, I love hearing from people. So, um, yeah. Anyways, moving on to the topic. The Freeman footage. We just watched it a little while ago. And you had already seen it before, you said. I've seen it multiple times. Oh, man, I'm going to be putting people to sleep in your video. I keep yawning. Stop doing Sorry. that. I'm tired. Seriously. I've been up since five. We both agree that the footage is very similar to the Patterson footage. Yeah, it's just like the opposite direction, but it does like pretty much, it actually exists There's pretty a lot much of the same way. Though the quality is a lot worse than the like, original <laughs> Patterson film. Because like early digital, and I don't know if it was like a mini DV or some sort of tape. It was probably on cassette because it was in the 90s. Yeah, it's not a great quality of film. No. Yeah, this happened in 1994, so it was on a big cassette. Oh, man. Standard definition Those cassette. Those old VHS ones? <sighs> yeah. I think my uncle used to have one of those. Anyways, yeah, there's not a lot of detail. And when you, like, zoom in and crop it, it's like... It just makes it way worse. Yeah. It. We paused at one point. And Justin was like, if you just walked around the corner and saw this, like, on, saw this on, on the, the screen, screen, what would you think? And I was like, it looks just like greens and blacks. It looks That's just like it a, some like. sort of weird screensaver or yeah. something. Or like an ugly painting. Yeah. It's so hard to get any kind of, like, detail. But the video we watched was, like, an analysis of it where that dude seemed to have the greatest eyes on the planet. Like, he was like, you could see the slope of the head and, like, the arch of the back. And the, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really seeing it considering you can't see any clear details. You don't really know what you're looking at, except for that it's a big humanoid shaped thing. It moves like what we think a Sasquatch would move like. It's very based, similar it's very similar to based Patty. solely on the Patterson footage is what most True. people But I Patty still on. think the Patterson footage is the best footage so far and we i'm still re doing all the research on that for that we're video. gonna be doing another patterson video i'm waiting for this guy in-depth one i have some information but i'm not done putting it all together yet so it'll get done maybe before the new year got well, a week off next week so like you said though and what one of my issues with the freeman footage is how like a creature that's supposed to be so elusive and trying to like stay away from people obviously knows that this guy's there filming it and it's calmly just walking around. And it's at one the point they said it like so. picked up a child. Yeah, well the Patterson footage too. 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just walked into a corner yeah. right there. Like I said, it's pretty much the Patterson footage, just the opposite direction in a different location and a lot more grainy. <laughs> yeah. The reaction as well. Of Oh, of there Freeman. he goes. I don't know. I don't know if it feels genuine to me or not. Well that's like, the I'm thing. not trying to the problem. I don't want to lie to myself and be like, oh yeah, it's here's the problem though. <sighs> Reactions are different for everybody. People react to stuff differently. You're you're, uh... It just feels like it plays out as a scripted event, right? Because he's filming these tracks on the ground for a while, and then all of a sudden, oh, there you go. It's like, I don't know. On the other side, it's like the longest piece of video. Usually when you see like a clip of Bigfoot being filmed, it's like cut in a way where you don't see where what you see the Bigfoot's face, and then you never see it leave or show up. <laughs> Oh, rod landings. <laughs> Good rod old landings. rod landings. Uh, but no. Um, uh, one of the things that I was going to mention is now escaping my brain, so I will come back to it. Uh, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I remember. <clears throat> so I was going to talk about the reaction thing. Everyone reacts to stuff differently. Correct. Me and you have been our own personal test subjects on that. Remember? Way back We the react day, very day. poorly to frightening situations. Well, I react very differently than you do. So I kind of you go I quiet. Fr- I freeze. Yeah, and I just don't move. Okay. and I lock up. Specific example. Do you remember at my parents? Yeah, yes. we're out in the we're out near field, in like the pasture, and there's like a wooded area, and Justin had like a pellet gun. Yeah, some I think. sort of pellet. Yeah, we were like early, early teens. Yeah, we were young. You had just moved out there. I'm pretty sure. I was 13. Yeah, because I moved out there at 13. Yeah, so we were out there, and Justin's got his pellet gun, and we heard, like, a twig or something snap, <laughs> and we both stopped, and we're like, what was that? And then Some of the another weird... noise that I have never heard before or since, but <laughs> I immediately <laughs> ran towards the house, like, jumped over the barbed wire yeah, fence, cleared this barely fence. touched it. Like, I just put my hand on the post and just like, whoop. <laughs> By the time Justin was, like, like done looking into the bush where the sound came from, you already back in the house. house. <laughs> I was, like, at the door. <laughs> and he was like, where are you going? I was like, inside. <laughs> like, everyone reacts to stuff, like, super differently. So, here's what I'm afraid of. If I run into a Sasquatch... And I see it. I'm I'm scared. I'll freeze up, and I won't be able to film it in time. Like get my camera ready. And I'm also scared that if I do see one, I will be so frightened that I'll immediately want to pack my shit up and leave. Well, when in when what I should do is like chase it. Chase well not chase it. <laughs> chase it. Pursue it in a non-threatening way. No, take it down. Tackle it. You could take down a 900 pound beast. Look at this. Look at these shoulders. <laughs> No, nah, but, yeah, no, nah, it's just, it's one of those things where, like, reactions to stuff, everyone reacts to stuff differently. Um, my first instinct is never to grab, like, a camera for anything. Like, well, my first instinct is to just, like, stop and be like, okay, I need to, like, figure out what is happening. Yeah. See, like, I think some people are, like, instinctually documentarian. Like, they're immediately like, I need to get this on film. Well, nowadays it's, like, second nature to pull your phone out. See, and, like, <laughs> I, it, it hasn't gotten to me yet. Like, I there's I have, like, barely any photos of any crazy stuff happening. I don't have barely any photos of just, like, good times that I've had. Like, my, I just don't take pictures or videos of, like, anything. My first instinct is to make sure that I'm safe. Whether that, that See, be, like, get away or, that's like, I'm a runner. make sure I'm not visible to whatever threat is around me. Yeah. See, I'm a... Like I said, I'm a runner. So when it comes to fight or flight, it's flight every time. Unless I have no escape route. Anyways. And then fight is I mean, fight. I'm not a I'm not a fighter. Yeah. So Freeman was obviously not afraid to stick around or afraid to leave. Yeah, no, he he stood and he he documented it. Yeah. And I don't like I will never look at someone's reaction as a piece of 
evidence against or for their credibility. Just because I know that people react differently to anything. I have friends that when they get nervous or scared, they laugh. You know? Like, I think it's try to, trying to cover up the... Yeah, well, yeah, I, you, <laughs> nervous laughter is a real thing. If you're nervous and you start doing the like... <laughs> like oh, what was that? <laughs> dude, when people... Okay, so I've had this experience where like at a bar someone tries to like pick a fight with me or whatever like i said i'm not a fighter but i'm not just gonna like bolt out of a bar my and my immediate reaction is to start laughing i don't know why and it gets me in a lot more trouble usually than it helps but it's almost always my first instinct to just be like if someone's like you want to mess around or whatever and i'm usually just like <laughs> nope <laughs> <laughs> not even not even a little bit just a cloud of dust and then you're like, <laughs> i just throw a smoke bomb <laughs> <laughs> but yeah no like it's just that it's I, I won't like I said I just won't look at a reaction as cause uh, evidence towards credibility or not no. just because it's so it's very so drastically between people so the video starts basically you see what appear to be big Sasquatch tracks in the mud to you me you didn't think they were they the stride seems small it based because Justin said you can't really tell how far the stride is, but if it's you base, hard to get a perspective. But if you base it off of the size of the foot, that's what I was looking at. Is like foot size to stride length. It seems short. I, I like. I think it's hard to tell. Like I got size thirteen boots, so, and if I walk, like, you can tell that I'm like a taller guy when you look at my stride in like the snow, because the size thirteen boot. There's a pretty large gap in between my boot prints. Yeah. You know and it just scales down from there generally um so like and i mean maybe this thing was just kind of like moseying you know well it looked like it was but even in, when it like like when you see it kind of like stepping it's doing like a big like oversteps well, on stuff it really lifts its heel up it seems and you can tell that as well in the patterson footage they have a special way that they walk and they don't really lock their knees out at all yeah you know what I mean? Like a human would. Depends. What do you think about like the appearance of the creature? I can't tell. It's hard. It's, it's just a black there's human not shape. A lot of detail. Or a humanoid shape. It's, yeah. It's it's a black bipe bipedal looking thing. It appears to have tubby. a large frontal. Yeah, it's fat. Gut. I'm fat shaming that Bigfoot. Hundred <laughs> percent needs to go on a diet. The paleo diet. Weight Watchers. Mm. Count your calories. I don't think Cross that's what Weight Watchers, you Weight Watchers is. You should become a raw vegan. Yo, man, if Bigfoot's a vegan or does CrossFit, we would know it exists right away because it wouldn't be able to go 20 <laughs> minutes without telling you. So that was a cheesy joke, and I had to make it. That was a, I thought that was good. Well, it's it's an overdone joke. Well, it's, it's an overdone joke, but I went for it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it appears to linger around, and then it kind of walks off to the left of the frame. Hands. But it even does like the same like shoulder glances. Yeah, it looks at them and stuff. But like I said, like if it's a creature that's trying to remain hidden and and is so elusive, I don't know. If it was me, I wouldn't be sticking around like that. I would have headed in like the opposite direction. I wouldn't have just lingered around and looked at him and just kind of went on along my business. Because obviously he knows Freeman is there because he's talking and talking about the tracks as he's filming. Like any animal within like. A hundred yards is gonna, at least, is gonna know you're there. Yeah, and usually take off. Exactly. That's my that's my issue with it. But and then you say like in the Patterson footage that's also yeah, a similar thing. It makes me like question my beliefs. Yeah, you gotta question your beliefs sometimes, <laughs> man. The <sighs> that's hard, man. I know it is, but that's the thing is like. Like, this video, in my opinion, is an updated version of the Patterson footage, essentially. An Ollie lore quality. <laughs> yeah. It, that's what it feels like to me, anyway. Just based, like, and I'm not, obvious, obviously I'm not saying, like, oh, this is, like, a step-by-step -step perfect uh, replica of the Patterson footage, except in the opposite direction. Like, this is a completely different terrain. Yeah, but it looks very, like, the way it moves... And even its physical shape are very similar. You know what I mean? Yeah. Also, that Independence Day footage, if you guys have seen that, looks strikingly similar to the Patterson footage as well. 
What's the Independence Day? Footage? The one where it's holding that youngster, tied him behind the rock. You think it's fake? Oh, you were, we talked about that. Yeah. Before. And it kind of walks off. I'm just tired of seeing female Bigfoots. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only ones you see is females or non-gender specific. Which hey, I'm not judging. You know. I don't know. And I mean, it's rude of me to assume that Bigfoot's gender based on its physical traits. And I think that all of you need to look at yourselves and think about that. Because just because it has breasts doesn't mean it's female. It might not identify as female. Have you ever seen male bodybuilders? <laughs> they have breasts. Anyways. But yeah, no. I don't know. That's just... I think it's... I think it would have been super sweet to, like real or not if this was like a video that like we faked at some point in our lives dude, I would show it to everybody like dude look at this look at this weird stuff well with that camera it would be incredibly easy to recreate this video because you're losing like there's no detail we need 4k video at least is what I always say that'll be sufficient 4K better be 6K 8K like get these professional cameras out. If there. you come if you come back from a, a Bigfoot expedition with 4K footage and it's blurry, I'm gonna punch you in the dick. <laughs> <laughs> I won't be having it. Cameras are also getting better and better. What I like to say is that with advances in technology, like camera technology, we will be discovering more things and new things. It'll just it'll be easier. I think if these creatures are out there, whether it be Bigfoot or any other cryptid, El Chubacabra. But with these old videos, like looking at them at them now, it's really hard to to tell. Like we're so tainted by new tech that we look back at old videos and we're like, well, this is garbage. I know. Like I had to <laughs> throw it away. Back in the day, I don't remember that stuff looking that bad. But on these new like HD screens, when you watch the because it was stuff, like the it's... best of the best back in the day, and then we look at it now and we're it's like, wow, garbage. this is trash. <laughs> Unless it's film. Film maintains that quality for the most part if it's like 16mm film or 35mm movie film. You know? I hear you. That's why you can get those Blu-ray movies of uh, all those old flicks. Yeah. They still look really good. Is that pretty much it for the Freeman? I think that's pretty much it. I don't know. What do you guys think about the Freeman footage? Do you think it's legit? Do you believe it's a hoax? I can't really say. I don't know. I'm I'm on the fence with it. Like it's every just too video, hard for me to tell. Like every video slash podcast that I'm ever involved in, we just don't know. Like until something is confirmed or denied. And Paul Freeman denied. has passed, so it's not like he can be interviewed further. And yeah. oh, I do have one complaint. I will say, speaking of people passing. Um, the idea that there is it lends credibility to an old video if someone passes away that took the video and didn't confess that it was a hoax on their deathbed is ridiculous. I don't think that on your way out, you know, you're about to punch that time clock, that the first thing that you're going to think of is like, I should probably tell people that I faked that video. Or, yeah, I want to be known as a hoaxer. Yeah, like it's... <laughs> Or, why, like, for me personally, if I'm on my way out, if I'm about to check out... I'm going to tell my family that I love them. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be gonna thinking be like, about. That's it. Like, I'm not going to be worried about some... You're not going to give up the location to a secret treasure that you planted out in the hills? Oh, well, I mean, I have, a, I have a few maps made up for when I, when I start passing. I'll be like, look in the box in the attic, and they'll find, like, 12 maps. And they won't mean anything. You just made them up. Yeah, they just treks into the woods. <laughs> get get the... outside. Stop spending all your time indoors. Yeah, they'll get out it's there. It's the final bit of wisdom I'm going to give you before I go. Yeah, they'll get out there and be like, what did you want me to find? And it'll just be a post-it I note on a tree. find yourself. There's just a mirror out in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, damn, I do not look good surrounded by trees. Back indoors where I can take selfies. <laughs> good lighting. You take selfies outside. Good, good lighting's lighting. great. Sunshine the lighting in here Yuck. is awful. I got a one bright fluorescent and then an incandescent over here. Next week when I go out into the mountains, you should come. You got yeah. a week off. No, but I I told you, I got family Christmases and then the 29th I have a Christmas and then Cashton's coming down for that music thing. Okay. 
So I'm busy. I'm apparently not. <laughs> Justin doesn't have any friends, so... Winter camping. <laughs> the only friend I'm going to make is Bigfoot. Hopefully, he can keep me warm. Oh, oh he can be Big Spoon. Yeah. <laughs> His name's Big Spoon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't call him Bigfoot anymore. Big Spoon from now on. All right. Anyways, that's all we have for this video. Hope you all enjoyed it. If you have any comments, positive or negative, put them below. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you next time on Mountain Beast Mysteries. <laughs>